Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to present a few YouTube alternatives. Now YouTube is a huge platform and plenty of companies try to uh, do something that YouTube were doing, but they failed. Why is it? So let me explain you the few reasons why other companies didn't succeed. Now many times uh, the one huge like advantage YouTube has over others is how lean it is how simple it is to use, how the, the algorithm is really good, that's another thing, and they can process a lot of data. Now, in the past, there were um, like competition on uh, live stream on Twitch fails, like there was there's a subreddit live stream fails, they are like showing fails of Twitch streamers, like funny moments, and there was a company that tried to um, create a site on which people would upload this live stream fails. What happened was that they had to close down only because Google didn't allow ads on that platform, like understandable because it's a competition. Why would I put my ads on your platform that it's com that's competition to YouTube? So they didn't allow ads and they couldn't get enough sponsor, enough um, like advertisements and revenue to cover for the costs of the data they had to pay only because there is a one thing that people don't really understand is that anyone in the world can upload terabytes of data on YouTube for free. Again, for free. So this is why you don't see the Facebook huge competition on search. Like the huge thing about YouTube is that you're going to have search option to search for things. You don't have it anywhere on Instagram, on Facebook, anywhere. So this is why YouTube is huge and why YouTube is really amazing platform that people can use. And I know that people are going to say, oh, YouTube is so bad. Like, it's really good. People are just are used to, to the perfection of YouTube is that you get everything for free. You don't have to pay a dime to use it. You can use uBlock Origin to block ads and you can have unlimited content that you, have, that you don't have to pay a dime for it. And people just can't appreciate this fact for some reason. So let me show you the competition of YouTube. Now the bit bit shot or bit shot. Uh, this is the first competition. It's a little bit on the right side, and uh, from the political spectrum, and plenty of people are uploading. The one thing is that when you come here. You see that plenty of people are re-uploading content and you don't see that there isn't that much content. Now, many times when you're going to find a video here, you will find it also on YouTube. So that's another thing. And you see that they don't really have plenty of views here. So that's something important to say. And this is something that you can start watching, right? Or start creating content. The next one, a really good, is a Facebook watch. And the, the thing about Facebook Watch that a person has to keep in mind is that with a Facebook Watch, you're not going to, mm, they can't search for the content. It needs to be suggested. So the best way someone can watch videos on Facebook Watch, from my perspective, is to, if you want to create content, you need to like create funny, interesting content on Facebook Watch. So that's another one. Then uh, there is like another one that is like really good. And that's Storyfire. Storyfire, plenty of really popular YouTubers uh, cre started creating content here. Now it's like Leafy, which is banned on YouTube and others. Now there is one thing about this is that uh, with Storyfire, see 10 months ago, there isn't a lot of views. Okay, 240k views. Is like good but again it's not that really popular comparing to the YouTube of course like day ago 90 views right they're my lord and you see he uploads videos here but it's not something like damn so story fire you can check it out if you want to now the next time uh, next one I prepared for is a rumble rumble is a uh, upcoming uh, that you could use and how does it work is that you can actually search for it and this is one of the ones that you can actually use now how a person can make money on it is that you would upload videos from a kid someone has etc but 
How they make money on Rumble is that they are through the, their own ads. Is the first one. And the second one is that they have all their own YouTube channel. And when they're going to send uh, upload something on Rumble, they're going to upload it on YouTube. And then they like pay the money from YouTube, right? Look at this. So Rumble. So that's something you can definitely do and definitely try see two days ago, two days ago, and you would just find these videos on uh, rumble.com. So they're just making and making the money from Rumble viral, and then they're all paying people here on Rumble. So if you would be creating content or search for it, you can use it. Now the algorithm doesn't work that good as on YouTube. That's true, but it's a good competition. The next one is a deal with. Tailwits is uh, another platform, but as you can see, they don't really have many views here. And that's another platform that you could like see, find plenty of videos. And again, like those videos uh, you would find also on YouTube. So also the payouts, etc. on YouTube is just much better, but that's something you can definitely do. Now the next one, Odyssey. Uh, Odyssey is another one. That is like pretty good platform. That a person could actually create videos in. And let's see if I could like find. See, like everything you see, you see on here, you would be able to see uh, like on uh, Odyssey. So that's something you can do too. Now, the next one is Vimeo. Vimeo is another one, but Vimeo is really great for companies who they're, that they want to upload their own content, right? So Vimeo is a good idea that you can use too if you want to. And the next one that I prepared for you is a TikTok. I mean, like TikTok is a huge competition that if you want to actually... Uh, like create short content or watch short content. TikTok is really good competition to YouTube. And I would definitely check it out if you want to have like good, good, good competition. And more and more people are using it. And YouTube just started implementing YouTube shorts only because they understood that uh, the TikTok is a heavy competitor. So this is pretty much it. Thank you very much guys for watching. If you can have any questions, ask me down in the comments and let me down in the comments which one you're going to use. I'll be pretty happy to hear it then. So yeah, thank you very much guys and have a great day and goodbye. See ya.